Mississauga residents enjoy a quality of life in our city that is second to none. We're home to hundreds of kilometers of trails that connect a network of parks. We take our families to world-class community centers and libraries, as well as museums and theaters. We play in our arenas, on our soccer fields, cricket pitches, and baseball diamonds. And we drive our cars and take transit on good roads and cycle on a growing network of bike paths. All of these things that make our city great are grouped together as infrastructure. Infrastructure is what makes our economy run, creates jobs, and makes Mississauga a destination for business and talent. You may not know, but we own $8.9 billion of infrastructure. Every year it ages and gets more costly to maintain. At the same time, we must also plan for the future. That means forecasting and planning our priorities for new infrastructure and repairs 10 years into the future. This year, there is a $260 million gap between what we can afford to build and maintain and what we need to build and maintain while keeping property taxes affordable. Like all cities, we only receive eight cents of every dollar collected in taxes. But we own 66% of the infrastructure in the country. This math doesn't add up. To close this gap would require steep increases in the property tax every year. This is not fair to our residents. That's why we need a provincial partner to help us build and maintain our roads, bridges, buses, parks, and community centers that our residents have come to enjoy and rely on. Your infrastructure priorities are our priorities too. They must also be the priorities of the next provincial government. After all, we're all in this together. On June 7th, vote for candidates who understand that Mississauga matters.